columns of solid trees who, whose limbs are heavy with fruit, and patches of grass spread next to the paved pedways lies narrow patches of dirt worn by the feet of hundreds of pedestrians. They are pleasant accidents, a beacon of harmless civil disobedience in a world of urban design and a symbol of human nature. On these spontaneous, minuscule trails, the individualist triumphs and successfully defies society's expectations. Desire paths, created as a consequence of mechanical erosion caused by human or animal traffic. Even in the most optimal settings, the bustling metropolises, the charming hamlets, the quaint villages, the near-perfect, dazzling suburbs, we follow our instincts and create our own paths. We constantly search for shortcuts, hunt for improvements, and defy simply for the sake of defying. Desire paths, however, do not only exist on streets and avenues, they exist within us. I come from no household and no town. I am from the greenhouse and the white, the blue and the brown. I am from New York, California, Nebraska, and Mississippi. My siblings and I rehearsed, oh, I wore hand-me-downs and shared beds with my sisters and plain rooms with bare walls. My siblings and I rehearsed our potential questions for child protective services and found used needles stranded in our dollhouses. I watched the police escort my mother into the back of their car as I stuffed my belongings into a black garbage bag, bracing myself for the next mystery destination. For months at a time, I only heard my mother's voice through monitored phone calls. I barely ever heard my father's voice at all. Unlike most kids, I spent my summers crammed on the floor of a white Chevrolet Silverado as drugs were dealt in the Dunkin' Donuts parking lot and hundreds of dollars disappeared from my sock drawer at a time. I cared for my siblings as my mother enjoyed cheap water bottles of wine and prescription drugs from sunrise to sunset. I come from food stamps, Fidelis Care, and HUD assistance. My trail was paved, cemented into the ground, permanent. According to society, and based off of my origin, a lifetime of drug dependency, alcoholism, mental illness, and destitution was guaranteed. After curveballs of arrest warrants, custody battles, foster care, battles of cancer, and motor vehicle accidents, the community of Ticonderoga has continuously supported and nurtured my family. Organizations like Thai Alliance, fundraised thousands of dollars for my siblings and I to provide us with experiences like EMT class, private tutoring, access to daycare, and a collegiate art course. We are instrumental provided me with the opportunity to participate in a music theory course through the Juilliard School and voice lessons with state-of-the-art musicians. Additionally, Steve Racanelli generously funded a trip to Europe, which was always a dream destination of mine. From Mrs. Palandrani's friendly smile and courtesy in the main office, and Ms. York's compassion for others, to the custodian's attention to detail and Mr. Francis's excellent humor, teachers and staff at Ticonderoga Central School changed my perception of the world. Not only was I provided with a wonderful education and opportunities, but I constantly received support throughout all of my struggles in my personal life. When I felt as if I had nobody at home, my burdens rested on the shoulders of my selfless, kind-hearted teachers. On behalf of the class of 2023, thank you for all of your encouragement and dedication to serving others throughout the years. Due to their immense influence in my journey, I'd like to personally thank Mr. Kyle Lang and Dr. Todd Medium. To Mr. Lang, four years ago, I entered the high school nervous and unsure of myself and thankfully decided to attend a drama club. You helped me find my voice on and off of the stage and provided me with a healthy outlet for my heavy emotions. I am eternally grateful for your mentorship throughout my entire high school career. To Dr. Mina, although I only spent one year in your presence, it was easily the most powerful year of my life. You helped me instill confidence in myself and you encouraged me to pursue my true passion in medicine. Thank you for advocating for me and for supporting me through the event and as of yesterday, leading me to a national title in medical terminology. My meanie spent the early hours of the day trimming and 
and rooming here, and the late nights, oh my God, <laughs> registering patients into the emergency room to keep my siblings and I off the streets. She lent us her bedrooms and cooked us homemade meals. She drove us to school and hauled us to appointments. She brought us to amusement parks and bought us concert tickets. She cared for us even during recovery from a total hip replacement. My Nini supported us throughout all of our turmoil and stood by our sides throughout all of the chaos. And I couldn't stand where I am today without her constant, unconditional love. <laughs> Thank you. 